Okay, welcome back to tutorial 6.0. And we're getting into 6.3 now. So if we go back into Visio, I had a little homework after our previous uh, tutorial. Remember, I just added a three objects for our accompanying layers. And uh, since I expanded a little bit with each. So you see we have the legend area where we have pictures of the uh, the cars and the, the trucks I added, uh, and they're, you know just easy little legend there. We got a new truck, new car, old truck, and then these are areas. Uh, these are the bounding boxes. You might recall I named in a layer uh, where those uh, different uh, number of uh, graphics or shapes will be dropped. And so the concept is here: it's an auto dealership, and within that auto dealership, there's two garages where cars are and trucks are kept and of course the showroom. And uh, the title area is auto inventory. Well let's zoom out so you can see the whole page. Now we can see how the layers really work. If we go into view layers, layer properties, this is where you take advantage of this visible. For example if I just click here it turns them all off. If I just click visible it toggles them on and off. So I'll turn them off and say apply. If you notice if I pull this out of the way all, all the objects are gone. Okay, so that's going to be real useful later. I'll show you why. But right now, as far I'm going to, they're all visible. I had to click apply so you could see it. Right now, I'm all done with this background. I'm not going to do anything more with it. I can change it later if I want to, but right now I'm done because I'm going to draw on top of it with other layers. So I want to lock them, all three of them. You see, these are the only layers we've created so far for this diagram. I'll click apply. They're all locked. And OK. As I showed you in previous, no matter what I try and do here, I'm not going to be able to change anything. And we're now ready to start dropping shapes that we created in our Visio stencil set onto this background. Well, remember I closed the shapes window before. It's really easy to open file shapes that we've done before. The only thing different is you go to my shapes. And there it is. You remember we saved it. And you also remember a homework item was to add more shapes. Well, I added mine. I added a Camaro, because I love Camaros. And I also love old pickups. And while we're at it, we'll go ahead and open back up the Shape Data window. So, it's kind of obvious, our process, what are we going to do? We're going to drag a truck over to the garage. We're going to give it a name. Now, this is just a temporary name. I'm going to get into naming convention in a minute, but I'm just going to call it this for now. I'll change it. But, what I'm going to do after this is I'm now going to go through and add a bunch of these shapes to this diagram so we have more than one obviously and uh, we can then see more how these uh, uh, these layers are going to help us out and uh, also in the next uh, tutorial we're going to talk about naming convention for these shapes